That severe weather and what had been an unusually quiet tornado season changed radically and violently overnight. And now there's a big new system moving in with 23 states in the crosshairs. Our coverage begins this morning with Diane Wilson from our affiliate WTVD. She's in Wake Forest, North Carolina right now. Diane, good morning. Dan, several injuries reported due to these storms. Fortunately, no deaths. But today, crews will be cleaning up after strong winds, heavy rains, even hail caused this widespread damage. But that is on the ground. Look how wide it is. Reports of 10 tornadoes overnight in North Carolina, destroying or damaging more than 140 homes and businesses. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Huh? Take a look at this time lapse video showing just how dangerous and threatening the sky looked as a storm system moved in, bringing with it reported tornadoes. Wow, that's amazing. Falling hail the size of quarters. And damaging winds and rain knocked out power to thousands, ripping into people's homes. There's holes in my roof, like pot size. It's raining in my house and siding's going, roof is going. Trees uprooted in yards, some falling through roofs, mobile homes decimated. It's heartbreaking. The storm system brought plenty of damage and fear to residents. I was froze. I, was, I was just couldn't, I was not panicking. I just told the Lord, thank you, that was it. But I froze and thank God for sparing my life. And that is what we are hearing from many people that survived this storm. But again, today the focus is going to be assessing the damage and cleaning up all this mess left from the storms.